what's up guys and welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing how are you guys holding up in these crazy times i was supposed to have a video go up last weekend but i just i actually shot it i filmed the video i just didn't think it was good quality so i decided not to put it up i know i know it's not excuses it's just i really didn't like the quality so i'm gonna refilm it and then film the video that's going up the following week today so i'm gonna do like three videos today we'll see what happens you guys hear my fan i don't know if you guys can hear it i'm gonna turn it off it's hot in here though oh by the way guys i got a dyson <laughs> oh my god and i can control my fan from my phone all right let's turn it down actually one sec i'm gonna have it face me oh that feels good and then i'm gonna turn it down there we go. Oh, that's yeah, that's silent now. Okay, cool. Back to the video. So, um, yeah, how are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up in these like quarantine crazy times? It's been kind of tough. Thankfully, I'm still working, my husband's still working, and you know, my heart goes out to everyone who isn't currently working right now, who had to leave school, had to you know just put their lives on hold and like their um livelihood things like that it, it really sucks and i'm just praying for all our essential workers frontline workers all that good stuff um that they're safe you know i have a lot of like nurses and doctors in my family so i'm constantly praying for them and constantly praying for everybody else that is a frontline employee or an essential worker things like that um it's really scary times and all we can do is pray and just hope that in a few months hopefully if we stay at home florida if we stay at home that everything will blow away and you know things will just go back to a kind of new normal but at least a kind of normal anyways on a lighter note today i wanted to share with you guys 10 books technically it's nine books because i haven't started reading one but i've heard so many good things about it that i cannot wait to read it i know it's going to be amazing but i wanted to share with you guys nine books that has kind of shaped my past year um i try to read a book a month and i know for some people that's like nothing but i'm also um <clears throat> okay and i know for some people that's pretty much nothing but I am a doctorate student so on top of like dissertation and tons and tons of articles I try to like insert one non-academic book I guess if you would call it into my month um just to get you know a different perspective and I don't want to be like all book all school and no life um so that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. The books that I've been reading for the past year that has kind of changed my life, changed my perspective. Um, just really good books that I think that every woman or man, if you will, should read. Especially now that we're home and pretty much doing nothing. Or at least we're just home and we can't go out. So if you want to see the 9 to 10 books that I think are one of the most amazing books on the market and things, books that would help you, then continue watching. Okay. first book is of course this is like I think every human being on earth maybe not but most people probably already read this I know I've read it multiple times already because it's such an amazing book and of course it's no other than <sighs> I love her you guys like it's becoming by Michelle Obama you guys this book of course I know I just know that like people have made their rounds in this book if you haven't please 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 pick it up and give it a read now that we're home and quarantined this is such a good book especially because i feel like we know who it is it just gives the book life you know what i mean it's not like reading a, a you know one of those stories it's not just a story it's like this is my first lady so like hey this is such a good book. Um, not only is it well written, it's so well written. It's also very detailed. I love how normal she is, but like how like iconic at the same time. Um, it really inspired me to to just keep going and like no matter what, she was just so resilient and at, like just being a young woman who knew what she wanted and went for it. And today, 
she's in his like she is literally historical like this is she's iconic and um one thing that i really learned from this book is to keep going no matter what or how difficult things are or even if things aren't going your way so like if you wanted to go to law school and just like you know you failed <laughs> the first time like <laughs> barack <laughs> you know just keep going because just because you failed law school the first time doesn't mean you can't be president you know what i mean i feel like our generation is so stuck on instant gratification that sometimes we forget that it's okay to fail and just keep going and not only fail in whatever you're doing but it's okay to explore different things and then if you don't like it just quit and move on i think a lot of us force ourselves to remain in one industry or one like lot work you know professional line for a long time just to prove a point to ourselves and others which is fine but this book really taught me that like if you fail at something you're not a failure like you can keep going and you can still be great so if you haven't picked up this book please do it even has photos it's so nice to see like my first lady like as a young woman oh, you guys i i was so inspired by this book i've read it like two three times now well twice because i picked it up the third time and i just i never finished it again but it's such an amazing book it is um i'm gonna tell you how many pages it is it is let's see it's over 500 pages that is for sure um no i like so it's 421 pages which is kind of a lot for a quick read um i know that when i choose my books i try to go for things that are like 300 and less um or lower but this is about 450 which i mean isn't bad eh, you know it'll take you a month it took me a month probably maybe a little bit over a month but pick it up I love this book it's amazing it's becoming by Michelle Obama I'm pretty sure everyone has read it if you haven't then do if you have read it again it's that good and number two is the power of now this book is such such an amazing book um I mean it's so analytical it doesn't only I feel like there's a psychological or there's a psychology aspect to this book that I didn't realize until I was like at the end and then I was like wait <laughs> this book just analyzed me but um it's by Eckhart Tolle and let's see how many pages it is it is it's not that long yet like I said it's less than 300 so it's about 229 pages which isn't bad like you can finish this in three weeks or two I mean considering that you have a life and like you're not doing this all day every day but it's such an amazing book um so much truth so much like so much power in this book I mean it's it's a guide to spiritual spiritual enlightenment and that's exactly what it does I read this book and I was like I gotta get my life together now that's what this book will literally do it's such a good book pick it up it's on amazon by the way all the books that i will talk about today will be linked down below in my amazon storefront I created one so i can have everything cohesive in my amazon storefront so you have a library um category coffee shop things like that home decor things that i use at home pretty much will all be linked down um in, on the amazon storefront so it's all linked down there um they're all from amazon and one thing that i really like about this book is and i say it has a psychological aspect to it because it's because it um it really does talk about ego your subconscious which is something that i really like if you guys don't know i am a psychologist i think i'm a psychologist already i have a master's i have an undergrad a bachelor's a master's i'm getting a phd i don't know if i can call myself a psychologist yet it really does make you analyze you know like just your yourself and, and your your subconscious you know the place that you really don't want to visit that ugly place that nobody really knows it really does um help you challenge that part of yourself number three is so okay i'm <laughs> i'm not gonna show you this book just yet when i first started i'm not gonna lie when i first started reading this book i judged it a little bit because i had seen her on twitter and instagram instagram and i was just like oh another like self-help book great um but i decided to pick it up from amazon and read it because it just seemed like such a boss babe kind of book and i love books by women 
for women telling women like you're the shit um this is girl stop apologizing by rachel hollis and i was not disappointed i thought i was going to be honestly but i was not it is such a good book it's kind of like a workbook in a way so it has like little sections where it has like notes and tells you to write things it is less than 300 pages as well it's like 209 or something like that um let's see oh i was right okay sorry my phone just oh hold please oh there we go never mind um okay so it's 209 pages i was right and um I like it because okay so this is my thing i like to just i used to like to display my books and i used to hate covers like this um because it's just not my vibe it's it's not red is not my color at all um but i like the fact that you can take this off and it's a black book and then you can just tell if you're stacking it this way you can just tell what book it is so i like that about this book is although it's red but you can really just be aesthetic and take this off so that's nice um but about the book itself, I really, I really did like it. I spent a long time reading this book because I'm not gonna lie, the first few chapters are kind of a drag, but sometimes you need repetition to have it stick, right? I don't know. Um, but I, I really did like it. I really, it just, it just talks about how to be a fierce, you know, unapologetic woman, boss babe. I loved it um it's one of those books that you read and then you're like let's get it you know what i mean every now and then um it's nice to read something like this that can just pick you up and be like hey let's get this done so pick it up again it's going to be linked down below if you want to read it um i advise you to if you're especially if you're a woman come on girls stop apologizing that's another thing that i was going to talk about in a different video is how much women tend to apologize Thankfully, I snapped out of that a long time ago, and and I mean, not apologize in a way where, like, if you're wrong, then you don't apologize. That's just stupid. But I mean, like, in just a regular conversation, I find that women tend to say I'm sorry quite a lot. It's not a direct connection to this, but this definitely helps you with that as well. Okay, number four is Girl Code by Kara Alwell Leba. Labor? I don't know. Okay. And it's for female business owners. I really, really enjoyed reading this. It was, at the time when I read it, I didn't have a business. I, yeah, I was, I think I was 21 when I read this. No, I lied. I was not 21. I was definitely like 23 or 22. I think 22. I was definitely 22 when I read this. Huge difference. It up. I, it's, Honestly, Loki don't remember what it's about, but I just remember walking away from this book feeling very empowered. That's what I remember. Um, and I think it talks about, oh yeah, you know what? I remember, it talks about like how to negotiate pay, how to get like business, how to have your voice heard in a room or like, you know, a business meeting full of men, how to stand up for yourself, how to support other women it's such a good it's yeah i remember it's a good book it's a really really good book especially if you're just starting out as a business owner or you're a little on the you're on the younger side like i was i was 22 when i read this um yeah it's, it's a good book pick it up it's girl code by cara alwell leba or leba i'm sorry um page number wise or pages it is it's a really tiny book it's 150 pages you can probably knock this out in a week if you're determined. It didn't take me a week um, because, again, I was in school when I did this. I think I was doing my master's, actually. Um, but, yeah, pick it up if you want to read this. And it talks about success, sanity, happiness, balance, all that good stuff that women struggle with. It really talks about that. So pick it up. I loved it. Number five. This is not really like, this is more like a novel. I started reading this in January, I think. January or February of this year. I just wanted something that was a little different and not, you know, not self-help, not telling me how amazing I am or not telling me I can do this and go out there and like rule the world. I know I can. I just wanted something a little different, something that I could just read and enjoy and, you know, just take myself to a fantasy land. So I picked up Cleopatra. This book is such an amazing book. Now, 
Okay, I will say um, it's a little bit biased. I think as a professional, <laughs> I'm not a professional, but as someone who has analyzed a ton of research in my life, this I can tell is very biased because it was written by a woman and I can just tell that she's a feminist. I also looked her up. It's Stacey Skiff. I looked her up and she is a feminist and not to say that she set out to like be biased but I mean you guys if you're like passionate about some like a movement like you know feminism you tend to be a little biased. I know I am um, and I feel like she was a little biased. Cleopatra was amazing but I think her I think she set out to write this book because there was a lot of stories about the famous Cleopatra but they were all written by men and she just didn't feel like they portrayed her accordingly so she wanted to go out do her own research and then you know kind of tell a story of a famous amazing just empowered woman from a woman you know like for women by women type thing type situation and I think she did a really good job again I can tell that she was biased but it's such a good book it takes you back in time it just allows your mind to wander and like imagine what you know way back BC was like before Christ it's about 3 40 through 50 pages but if you wanted to it's called it's a masterpiece according to Daily Beast um, and it was it was definitely a masterpiece um, it's a long read but if you don't want to read like a self-help or development kind of book you just want something that's chill something like a really you know a novel a nice read pick this up it's amazing I love it I feel like Cleopatra was like the first feminist because <laughs> she was she was doing boss things when like women wouldn't dare do boss things she was doing boss things okay moving on okay seven seven number seven is you guys this book was so good I still go back it's such a small book um but I actually got hooked to this book and it was recommended by Ginny Mai. If you guys watch The Real, I am obsessed with the co-host. Oh my god, I love them. I don't know how I feel about Amanda just yet. I feel like I'm down to have like a conversation or two about the co-host. I don't know. I'm just like I don't know how I feel about Amanda, you know? I just I feel like the girls have been friends for such a long time like what six seven seasons now and then like there's Amanda you know like she's not really I don't know like I like her of course I like her I love her she's like this amazing black woman but like I don't know if she like fits into that group I don't know let's talk about this she would like read different books and like suggest different books and then come on live or was it stories and they talk about them so as soon as she you know mentioned this book I literally ran to Amazon ordered it it's called Life Lessons by Donalyn Savillo. You guys, it's called, it's everything you ever wished you had learned in kindergarten. It is such a good book. Like, this book is a mess on the inside because I literally have like <laughs> notes and it's just such a good book. I will go back and read this book over and over again. It's tiny, so it's like not even a chore. It's less than 150 pages. I'm pretty sure. Pretty damn sure. Okay, it's 136 pages. That is so good. For It's so handy. Like, every time I need a little pick-me-up, I go to this. It just provides you with insight on your life, on why you do the things that you do, different lessons that you should have learned, on change, on letting go, on not looking back, on asking on relationships oh i loved this book oh my god the first few chapters she talked about speaking up and i was just like yes women more women need to speak up it is probably after i like becoming i would say honestly this is my second best book i think this is a really good book it's 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 so small that you can literally get through this in like a week a week and a half two weeks maybe but it's such a great book like you'll walk away from this book with a different perspective a completely different perspective on life on work on relationships someone asked me to borrow them this book and I just couldn't because I was like I'm not letting go so I had to order them one because I was like I'm not letting go of this book it's that good okay 
You guys, the sun is acting crazy behind, so forgive me. Number eight, Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I really like this book. So I went, I went into this book not really understanding what it was gonna be. So I was a little confused. Like the first, first couple of minutes, first thirty minutes, I was like, wait, what am I reading? But this is more like essays, like just different stories from different feminists and how they've had to deal with, you know, feminism. If you're a feminist, please pick this up. If you want to be a feminist, if you're curious about feminism, <laughs> just pick it up. It's just a good book in general. I loved it. Um, and yeah, I think, I think you'll love it too. Now, on my ninth book, we have my latest read, you guys. I think I've messed up my hair. You guys, this book is so good. So good. Like, I need a moment. I know that I said Life Lessons was my second favorite and then becoming, you know what? This is probably my second favorite. I like Life Lessons will be my third. This is such a good book. It talks about habits. It talks about change. It talks about who you are and how to change your behaviors and how to oh, how to manage your time oh my god it's the sweet spot by Kristen Carter Dr. Kristen Carter you literally become a new person I walked away from this a few weeks ago feeling like a new person I was like I have my shit together like we're about to take over the world <laughs> let's do this it talks about like how to have a full life, how to balance, you know, like work and business and family and children and things like that. Like, I know I don't have any kids, but I'm always like, I'm so busy. I have school, I have like my family, I have my husband, I have a social life. But this book literally teaches you how to balance all of that. It tells you like, you don't have to have everything like balanced. Like it's okay if you don't. I know the core of it is how to accomplish more, by doing less and I'm a millennial I don't know about you but I like to work smart and not that hard <laughs> you know what if you've read becoming if you have read becoming pick this up if you have not read becoming pick that up and then pick this up in that order I'm serious now last but not least we have <laughs> Oh, one more book. You know what? I forgot. Sorry. One more book. So, okay. This is more of like a textbooky kind of book. Textbooky. It's The Bullseye Principle by David Lewis and Riley Mills. And so I, a little background. I got this book because I went for a presentation class. Pretty much how to present, how to speak to seniors and like investors and like CEOs how to have better professional communication skills because we all have like communication skills but they're not as professional and so oh my battery is about to die I'm gonna rush through this so I read it it really does teach you <laughs> talking really fast it really does teach you how to communicate better on a professional setting so like negotiating business deals speaking with your manager or like just your boss or CEOs whatever it is this is the book for you. Again, it's not a novel. It's kind of like a textbooky kind of, you know, like, you know, like a principle, like by the book kind of book. Um, it's the bullseye. Pick it up if you want to be better. That's something our our generation is lacking as well. Millennials communication. We don't know how to communicate. It's bad. I know, like, I don't. I'm still learning. But if you want to be better at, you know, talking and just communicating, having like understanding as well, because you know, part of communication is comprehension. It's a huge part this up the bullseye principle it's mastering intention based communication to collaborate execute and succeed I loved it but my battery is about to die so thank you guys so much for watching today's video now last but not least we have I think I'm gonna title this nine books <laughs> because I've actually not read this I actually, this actually came in the mail a couple days ago and I just haven't had time to like start it. It's called Men Explain Things to Me. You guys, my books literally have a pattern. I know. I know. I know. They're mostly by women. You know, they're mostly about women and how to be a feminist or how to be a boss babe. 
why not i'm a woman so i love women telling me what to do and how to be successful like they are i haven't started this my friend recommended this to me and it really talks about the like inequality or something like that i don't know it talks it's definitely on inequality i haven't read it so i wouldn't know but yeah we can read this together actually maybe i'll do like um what's it called like a book club uh an, uh, an, uh, uh, an online book club where we can all read this together i don't know i haven't started it yet i will i've just been super lazy i know we're all not being super productive during this time like you i know i'm not <laughs> um but yeah we'll see i i'm excited to read this but again if you haven't read any of the books on my list i would recommend picking this up first and then picking this up and of course top three you guys well thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope that you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next week and of course if you have any books that i didn't mention down here that you think i should read write them in the comments down below okay i gotta go because my battery's gonna die bye love you Peace.